Hello friends and welcome to this new video. So I already have made a lot of videos about Nuki and I get a lot of comments and support. Thank you so much for that. One of the most asked questions still is the differences about the 3.0 Pro and the 3.0. So in this video, I will again explain the differences as clear as I can. So here you see the 3.0 Pro, as you can see, it has this metal finish, it has a power pack and it has a bridge integrated. The 3.0 has a white finish, it doesn't come with a power pack, but it comes with four alkaline batteries. But I added a power pack myself, as you can see here. And afterwards I also added a bridge. So with this setup, you will have exactly the same setup as with the 3.0 Pro out of the box. But the difference is that the 3.0 Pro comes at 279 euros. The 3.0 comes at 169 euros. The power pack comes at 49 euros. And the bridge comes at 99 euros. Adding this up, you will get a total of 370 euros versus 279. So if you want to have all these options, well, you better buy the Pro directly. However, if you want to start easy with a low budget, you can always start with the 3.0 and add afterwards a bridge and a power pack. If you don't want to buy the official power pack, you can also buy other rechargeable batteries that are cheaper than the power pack of 49 euros, of course. But why should you need a bridge and why do you want a power pack? So for that, I will make things clear with a small drawing. In the meanwhile, I will install both Nuki's back in place so I can also show on the telephone what are the main differences with or without bridge. So as you can see, I have my house with my Nuki installed and I communicate with my telephone or my FOP or my keypad with the Nuki through a Bluetooth protocol. So Bluetooth range is normally about 5 or 10 meters. So whenever I'm in the range of 5 or 10 meters, I can control my Nuki with all the options. I can lock, unlock, open the door a little bit. I can add users, delete users, and see all the configurations. However, when I'm at work and I want to know if the Nuki is locked or unlocked, I'm not longer within Bluetooth range and I can't see anything. The little back door there is HomeKit. So if you use Apple's HomeKit or Google Home, you can still see if your Nuki is locked or unlocked, because your Nuki connects to your Apple HomePod Mini or to your Amazon Alexa, which will communicate to the home bridge and the home bridge will communicate to your telephone. This works perfectly if you want to know battery percentage if you want to know if the door is locked or unlocked and you can of course lock and unlock the door as well but that's it if you want to know anything more well then the Nuki have to communicate with your modem in house the modem connects to the Nuki cloud and with the Nuki cloud you can control your Nuki fully. So all depends on what you really search and need within your Nuki. I will demonstrate it on the telephone itself. So when I go to my Nuki application, this is everything you can see. I have both doors, my front door, my back door. You see the status of the door sensors as well. So the front door is locked and closed the back door is closed but unlocked of course i can 
use every option like lock and go, open the door completely, lock, unlock, etc. When I go to the home kit, and I go to my front door, I only see that it is locked right now and I can unlock it if I want to. And in the settings, I can see the battery percentage. And that's all. So I don't see if the door is closed. I don't see the status of the door sensor. I can add a user, I can delete a user. But if you don't have a bridge and you're not in Bluetooth range, your Nuki will show offline here. So you will have to go to your home kit in order to see the status and to lock or unlock your door. So it's up to you. What do you search within your Nuki? Do you want a simple setup and just open and close the door whenever you want? Or as me, are you often out of the Bluetooth range and do you still want to control your Nuki? Uh, for instance, I really like the widgets of Nuki as well. This is the widget. You have all the options. Of course, when you don't have the bridge, you can use those options. I also use it on my smartwatch. Little widget. So I have my back door and I have my front door. So personally, I would really advise you to buy a Nuki with a bridge integrated, or if you are low budget, start with a simple Nuki 3.0 and add a bridge later on. So I hope this little video helped you to explain better how it exactly works. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye-bye.